Have you ever been recording something for your e-learning course and you've noticed that your mic is picking up all your breaths? Well, today we're gonna learn how to take all that out. All right, welcome back. My name is Jeff Batt. And if you haven't checked out my website already, go ahead and check out my website at learningdojo.ninja. Here you can check out all previous blog posts with different tips and tricks on Camtasia, Storyline, Captivate, XAPI, and all over the place. You can also check out different templates, Articulate Storyline templates and XAPI templates. And then you can also get full courses, everything from A to Z on the topics of Articulate Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, XAPI Fundamentals, Articulate Rise, Custom SCORM, and HTML5 video. And I'm wrapping up my Camtasia course, so you can check that out as well very soon. Now, one thing that I struggled with is, especially when I'm recording with a microphone that's pretty close to my mouth, is it picking up the breaths. So you can have uh, different, as you're breathing and as you're talking, it will pick up those breaths. So how do I get rid of those? Do I have to go through and edit each one of them and make them silent? Well, there's an easier way using Adobe Audition that allows you to quickly take out those breaths, and I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So let's go ahead and open up our project. I have this audio file right here. If you want to, on my website, learningdojo.ninja, on this blog post, you'll be able to download this audio file. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Adobe Audition. Now with Adobe Audition, you can go ahead and just drag in this audio file, or you can go to File, and then Open, and then open up that audio file as well. Now this is an audio file from one of my previous recordings. Uh, I believe it's for uh, a voiceover recording for just screencasts and stuff. But if you scroll in, you can find different parts where they do have breaths. Now, depending on where you place the microphone, you can reduce this. And anything that you can reduce during your recording will save you a whole lot of time post edit. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna scroll in and the way that you zoom in is quickly on your mouse. If you have a Mac mouse, you can just move your finger in the middle, just one finger, and then that will zoom in and out. Or if you have a regular mouse, then you have a mouse wheel, you can just hover over this area and just use that to zoom in. Now, the way that I can see my breasts are in between, if I just highlight this by clicking and dragging and then hitting play, you'll be able to tell that that's kind of your breath area. Now, this is at least for me, my breath area, so I can go ahead and just pick up on that. An important part of you know identifying what my breaths are are identifying kind of the uh, the level of what my breath is, and so you can see it's at a lower level than most of my regular voice. I want to make sure that I get it exactly right, though. So what I'm going to do is go into Window and then go into Amplitude Statistics. This allows me to get some information about the levels of the selection that I have, which right now the only th part of the selection that I have is my breath. I'm gonna come in here and click on scan selection. And this will tell me that my breath, the peak amplitude is at about negative 39 dB. So that is about the range that I want to uh, keep in mind when I'm about to go into this next part. With that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and do control A or command A on a Mac to select everything inside of my, my voice over here. And then I'm gonna go into my effects and go to Amplitude and Compression and then Dynamics. Now here allows me to adjust a couple different things. The first thing is the Auto Gate. Now the Auto Gate is designed to get rid of those breaths. So you choose that negative 39 dB or whatever your target is depending on your voice and then you could just say get rid of everything at that level. This could also work for like hums or anything like that. And if you're trying to get rid of like a hum in the background, there's other ways to do that. But this mostly is for like breath. So if I wanna get rid of the breath here. So what I need to do here is click on auto gate and then I need to adjust that threshold. That threshold is what we just got before. So that negative 39. I like to go ahead and just adjust this to a little above that negative 39 because that negative 39 was just one of my breaths. My other ones could be louder or other things like that, but I don't wanna to go too much. So about a little bit uh, up below that or above that is going to work just great. So I can come in here and hit play and then I can listen to it and you can see as I'm listening to it, it starts to turn red. 
So it will turn red every time that the audio actually picks up that negative 36 or below. And so it automatically takes care of that and just kind of silence it. Anytime you see the red, it's basically silencing it and I don't hear that, which is nice. Now, if it does sound awkward, then I can adjust my attack. That's how quickly it will actually attack or turn on. And then I can adjust my release. That's how quickly it will turn off at the end of it as well. As you start to play around with this, you can, and listen to it, you can get the right attack and release as well. Now, if I go ahead and hit apply, notice that that selection that I had before inside of my audio is now completely gone because it got rid of those breaths. For the most part, you can scroll through and see that those kind of low tones or the breath part is completely gone. So now if I listen to this, it should be a lot better. So that is a quick and easy way to be able to get rid of your breath, but then you could come in here and just export out your file. Then you can export it out as an MP3 file, put it into Camtasia, put it into Storyline or Captivate, whatever tool that you're working with, and then you have that all breath free basically. So this is a quick and easy way to be able to get rid of the breaths inside of your audio recording. But I highly recommend you take a look at the different microphones that you use, the placement of the microphone, and different things like that. So keep that in mind. If you wanna check out more blog posts, go into my website at learningdojo.ninja. Check out my blog posts of previous videos on Camtasia, Storyline, Captivate, Audition, and Augmented Reality. You can also check out my different templates on Storyline and XAPI. And then my full courses on Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, XAPI Fundamentals, Articulate Rise, Custom Scorm, HTML5 Video, and then soon Camtasia. So that's all that I have for today. If you have not already, go ahead and go to my YouTube channel, click that subscribe button, click the like button, and hit that bell notification so you get notified of any future videos as they come out. And if you have any recommendations, feel free to leave those in the comments and let me know what else you want to learn about. But well, that's all that I have, so thanks everyone, and I'll see you next time.